Hello everyone, this is Mohd Fahim bin Amin and today I am going to show you all the processes or step by step of how to install Oh My Posh on your Windows operating system using Windows Terminal. And I will also show you how you can configure that based on your need and appearances on your terminal. All right. Now I know that I have already promised you to write an in-depth article about how to install and configure Oh My Posh on your Windows Terminal, but I am not sure whether I am going to do that or not because a lot of you might consider watching a video instead of reading an in-depth detailed article about how to install oh my posh uh, i think you might understand what i need to uh, do right now right i need to make a video first and if i get time then i would try to write an article for you but if i wouldn't get time to write that article don't worry here's your video right and yeah I might look different today because I have got a new haircut, right? You can see it right here. So no more discussion. Let's start our session. All right. So here's my workstation. Now, first of all, I need to download the latest PowerShell first. You can download that using the Windows store. I mean, Microsoft store, but I prefer to download manually. So I'm going to simply search for PowerShell 7 because PowerShell 7 is the latest version of PowerShell. Simply download the latest version of the PowerShell and install it. And from here, simply click on download PowerShell. Now simply scroll down a little bit until you find the assets. And from here, download this PowerShell, the latest version Win X64 MSI. Simply click on this and your download process will start. Now after finishing the download, simply you need to install it. All right, simply click next, next and keep them as it is click next next and install and click finish all right and so now i need to have the latest windows terminal so for that reason simply open your microsoft store and you have to search for windows terminal let it give some time to reload everything and from the search bar simply search for windows terminal Windows Terminal. Simply click here and click open. If it says open, click on update. If it says update, I need to update it. So I am simply clicking on update and give it some time to update itself. All right, the update has been finished. Now I can simply open this terminal. And for now, simply click on this drop down menu, go to settings, and I'm going to select the default profile to PowerShell, which I just installed and to the default terminal application to Windows terminal. All right. And now I need to save it. Now, if I don't want this Azure Cloud Shell and Windows PowerShell, old Windows PowerShell in this drop down menu, I can simply disable that from this drop down menu. All right. Now, this is complete optional. If you want, you can do that. But if you don't want, you can simply skip it. Let's say I want to disable Windows PowerShell from this drop down menu. So I am simply going to select this Windows PowerShell and I have to click it hide profile from drop down. That's it. And I am going to do the same thing for the Azure Cloud Shell because I don't actually use it right now. So hide profile from drop down. All right. Now I can simply save it. Now, if I simply click on this, I won't see the old Windows PowerShell and the Azure, uh, Azure Cloud Shell. You can see it right here, right? Now I can simply save it and close it, clear, close all. All right. Now, if I simply open the terminal, this is the raw version. All right. Now I need to install oh, my posh here. All right. So how I can do that? That's the question. Now you can safely close the Microsoft store. And now I need to install oh, my posh. So for that reason, I can simply search for oh, my posh. And go to the first link, oh, my posh. And the website is actually ohmyposh.dev. Now simply click get started. And from here, as I'm going to install it on my Windows operating system, I can simply click this installation Windows. All right. Now I actually like to install it using Wingate install. So I'm going to simply copy it and I can simply open my terminal and paste it here and click enter. Now give it some time to install it properly. Now it is finished. Now I can simply close this terminal and reopen it. And let me check it using ohmyposh.exe. 
and click enter all right it has been installed but i need to configure something first first of all i'm gonna install a new font so i can simply search for nar font and from here i can click on download and i can download any nard font i want but i actually like to install something like hack nard font actually i have been inspired to use this font from a youtuber i'm gonna mention that youtube channel in the description box as well all right so i can simply click on download and the download would be finished within a few moment and then i can simply open this zip file and i need to simply extract it so i'm gonna simply extract it all so this is my extracted thing now i can simply delete this license.md and readme.md file so that i can get all of the font file here so i can simply select all of them right click on them and click install that will install all of them at once all right now i need to simply open my powershell and click on this drop down menu and from here i need to go to settings and i need to click this powershell and i need to change the appearances from here i can change the font face from cascadia mono to hack nerd font and then simply save it all right it can't find it because i need to simply close it and reopen it and i'm going to this drop down menu again go to settings click powershell drop down i mean scroll down a little bit until you find the appearance and from here click on this font face and select hack nerd font and click save that's it so the hack nerd font has been installed and i can simply close this terminal for now now i need to configure something more for this download vs code simply search for vs code and download the suitable build for yourself for me it is download for windows click here and the download would start it simply wait a little bit until it finishes downloading vs code for you after finishing the download you can simply install it as usual and the installation process is like any other typical software installation process simply click i accept the agreement click next click next click next i prefer to check all of this click next and install finish i can simply close this vs code right now and i need to simply open my terminal and i need to create a profile for it so i can simply search for code a single space dollar sign and profile after pressing enter it would open a profile in your vs code you can simply ignore these messages and i need to provide some uh, command here so that it executes each time i open the windows terminal all right now before adding any command here i need to install a uh, one thing and that is install module name ps readline record version 2.2.2 simply paste it in the terminal and click enter simply type capital a and hit the enter key and that's it now i need to simply paste the code here i mean command here now i have written down all of the codes for you simply you need to copy and paste those and after that click Ctrl S to save or you can simply click file and save. All right. Don't worry about this command. I would provide these commands in the description box. All right. So let me simply close this VS code and open my Windows terminal once again. And we see that it's failing to install the terminal icons. I need to install it. For that reason, simply open a tab and search for PowerShell Gallery and go to the PowerShell Gallery. From here, simply search for Terminal Icons and I need to install these Terminal Icons. So I can simply copy and run this command here. Simply paste the Enter key. 
type capital A and again press the enter key. All right. Now simply close this terminal and open the terminal again. Now you see it's working perfectly. Now if I simply search for LS, all right, I'm also getting all of the icons right here as well. Cool, right? Now let me show you more thing. You see that whenever I am using any letter, it's already suggesting me my previously used commands. All right. How cool is that? Real cool. All right. Now let me show you that I know I am currently using this theme. But what if you want to use different things? Then how can you do that? It's very simple actually. Let me show you how. Simply go to this Oh My Posh official website and let me let me search for that first simply click on these themes and here you are getting a lot of themes that have already been added to this oh my gosh right but if you want you can create your own theme obviously but don't worry this already has a ton of theme that you can use it let's say i want to use this theme zash jash how can I do that? Simply open the terminal once again. Simply use code hyphen, uh, I mean, I space dollar profile and simply press the enter key. Now you need to simply change the theme name from here. All right. So let me simply use JDSH. I can simply type JDSH and I need to save it. Don't forget to save it. Now simply close the terminal and open again. Now you see the theme has been changed like I wanted. How cool is that? Now let me show you once more. Let's say I want to get this theme, Unicorn. So I can simply open my terminal, search for my profile, code, a single space, dollar sign profile, simply press enter and here i can simply change the theme name from jash to unicorn keep the rest of those as it was all right and of course don't forget to save the file now simply close the terminal and reopen it here you go how cool is that right all right i was forgetting to show you one more important thing if you open your Visual Studio code and open the terminal, you will get the same theme here as well. But if you get this warning that the prediction list view is temporarily disabled because it needs more spaces to show you. So what you can do, you can simply expand the terminal like this. Now, if I reopen the terminal, you see the error has been gone and I'm getting all of this as I was getting in my Windows terminal as well. So thank you everyone. I hope can understand how to set up your oh my posh to your uh, windows operating system and in windows terminal now you can also do this in linux or mac os now if you have watched this video carefully then i can pretty much understand that you have already uh, installed oh my posh and configured as you like it on your windows terminal now if you want to set it up on mac os and linux i will try my best to show you the procedure later but you can simply follow this documentation here and that should do that task for you all right now for me let me simply change my theme to something different uh for me let's say let's say i want bluish so i can change my theme name from unicorn to bluish make sure that the name is accurate case sensitive all right bluish simply save it i am using ctrl s and let me simply open the terminal so here you go my new thing all right so that's it for today if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe to this channel and give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and if you want to follow me you can do that in github gitlab facebook twitter linkedin instagram i will provide all of the link in this video description box and during making this video i was facing a lot of noises you most probably heard that i'm extremely sorry for that uh, during the recording the azan has been started so i definitely needed to stop the recording because allah is first right so that's it everyone thank you 
and i will see you in another video till then take care tata